Hi everybody. Today I want to show you my Midori Travelers notebook. I'm really excited to show you this because I love it so much. Every day when I use it, especially when I modify it, I add something to it, I change something with it, I love it even more. It's just incredible. I'm using it instead of my personal daily file facts and working out ways. So I'm going to show you how I set it up. And yeah, so, um, right, if you have seen a um, Midori Traveler's Notebook before, in photos or maybe in real life, um, you will probably know that the leather that they are made from is quite um, a natural leather, an unfinished, maybe it's slightly wet, but it definitely doesn't have any kind of finish to it. This Midori, which I got second hand in a trade, did have quite a few scratches on it, did have quite a lot of the kind of, not the original colour, but it, it kind of looked like it was dark brown with really light brown scratches on it. So I wanted to get it back to a more natural condition. So what I did was I put dark brown shoe polish on it. So that's why the leather is a lot more shiny than it would be in another Midori. It's kind of unique for that reason. And it's starting to wear off around the edges here. And I can't wait until it does wear off because I want it to come back to its natural, unfinished leather texture. So it's quite um, marked, especially there where the pen loop used to be. See it there. And there's some marks along here where the previous owner used um, bulldog clip and scratches and things, but I love it. Um, I got a green elastic around it, all the way around, goes through to the back, and that came from the elastic that the previous owner included with the package. It had it's one big long elastic, about um, one and a half millimetre thick elastic, and it has all sorts of colours. And I've made a pink elastic for my Midori, and this is the green one because I'm in a green mode at the moment. Um, and so I can have whatever colour I want with it, which is brilliant. And then I've got this blue sort of disc gigantic bead. Which is blue with gold specks. Oh, I can't line it up. There you go. Which I love. It looks great. And I did have a bead on the bottom uh, for the bookmark, but it kept on, the knot kept on coming undone easily. So I took it off for fear of it falling off and me losing it. So I'll open it up and I'll show you what's in the inside. This is what you see when I open it. It's got a credit card um, pocket and a corner pocket, which I haven't used before from yet. And then it's got the credit card divider, um, not divider, credit card pocket um, insert. It's got today's cat diary page and the kitten gift card my mum got me from Marks and Spencer. It doesn't have any money on it, it's just cute. Filer Baxi business card and then um, Rilla Kuma A7 memo paper with um, some washi tape stuck there to stick it onto the diary pages. And then I've got something here which I'm going to be there, which I'm going to be doing a blog post about separately. And then I've got the inside, I hope you can see and it's not too glary. It looks very shiny on my screen, so I just can't see it properly. It's got the other side of the um, Ziploc um, insert. So here's the Ziploc pocket there. So I kind of put it upside down so that this section is at the front. That one there. I just knocked a load of stuff out. Um, it's the, it's just the, it's just the slip pocket section. So um, so it's got home company list sheets 
um, a credit card pocket stick on one from Kristen, an Ollie magnet um, clip, and on back it's got a look on some loop. The Midori Travelers notebook flyer, some receipts for something that I need to return, and the other side of the clip. And then on this side, it's got some to do sheets from Paper Chase on beautiful list paper. I hope this is showing up better on the video than it looks on my screen because. It looks very shiny, I'm sorry if you can't see it very well. I've got a little blue Martha Stewart tab there to show me where the weekly to do list is. I've got my weekly extras to do, the so ones that aren't associated with each day, but I could, you know, hopefully get done this week. Um, and then I've got, now it's stuck on the five a paper clip on the front cover of my diary notebook. And I have this tab here to show it's my diary. Um, just a, a way from two pages that I made out of a squared notebook. And um, I've just drawn the lines and written the date. Hope you can see that. Okay. Um, that's really simple. I just stick things in with post-it notes or these um, A7 Villa Prima sheets with washi tape stuff on. So that's going really well for me. I didn't used to be able to use um, these kinds of pages, but it's going quite well now. My next section is my organisation notebook, and this is just exactly the same as what I had in my file pack, but it's something quite different. And I'm going to be talking about that more in a blog post, so I'll show you quickly what I've got. I've got in these sticky letters the word organisation written over there, um, because it's my organisation notebook, and um, labels of organisation. And then I made this notebook myself out of just normal printed paper, cut the sides, but when I cut the sides and tried to trim them down, it went badly because they're really rough edged and I couldn't get them right. So what I did was I stuck washi tape beside so it looks really pretty. Each sheet has got washi tape. Just stuck to the side and it looks really pretty. I've got to finish this side now. Um, it does take up quite a lot of washi tape, but it's very pretty. Um, and then my notebook, just the notes, really simple, just simple like that. And then I put the odd poem in. That's Ozymandias by Percy Bysshe Shelley. It's about um, one of the grand piece of second fluffy statues outside the mortuary temple at the Ramsey. And then the other side of the um, the Ziploc pocket insert, and the other side of the credit card pocket insert. And what I've done because these slots are really, really difficult to get anything out of. They're easy to put things into, but not out of. And I really wanted to put my um, my post-it notes in there. What I've done is I took a craft knife and I just slip that top bit there, make a sort of flat, this middle one. Hope you can see that. So it's now secured for the bottom and the outside and got no um, attachment along the top anymore and it's not attached on the side. So I can just slot my paste it notes in there. And then I've got my auto clip, and then that's that. Just really simple. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed my video. Oh, another 
point of it and the comment loop. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video, not only to show you what the format of my Midori is, but because I think the majority of Midoris that I've seen on the Flickr group or on um, people's blogs or in people's videos are journals and notebooks. They do sometimes, people do use, you know, a diary, you know, with a week on one page or a data page, but the vast majority of people use them as a journal or a notebook or a sketchbook. I use mine as my planner. It is literally just the a copy of what was in my personal satisfy pack. I love it as my planner. I love it even more than my personal file packs do. But I mean I did love them at the time when I used them, but then I fell out of love with them because of the ring problems. This has no room. That's brilliant. But I love kind of the challenge of making it into my my version of a file pack. If you kind of understand what I mean, it's not a file pack, and I know it isn't. But I like to be able to modify it so that it becomes more and more like a file pack. I've got several things in here which I've tried to adapt it, tried to modify it to be more and more like my file pack, to be able to use it for flexibility to move pages around. And I'm going to be doing a blog post on that. And I hope that if you have a have a Midori Travelers notebook and you prefer your file back but you would like to use your Midori like a file back, I'm going to be able to show you what modifications I've made to make your Midori a bit more like a file back. So I am still using my file back for other things but not for my daily planner. That's what this is for. Absolutely love it. Hope you enjoyed my video and um, will read my blog post when I do it on Sunday. Thanks a lot. Bye.